division bout. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the feet. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Well, when you're fighting this guy, DC, you know as well as anyone, it makes for a suffocating night at the office. Here he is, Khabib Nurmagomedov, putting his status as one of the best fighters on the planet on the line yet again tonight. He does it every time he's got to put in the octagon. And when they say it's suffocating, they talk about the strength of Khabib. Even our teammates say, it does not feel like you're going with a lightweight. You right. feel like you're fighting a light heavyweight. And what do you expect from a guy that spent his childhood wrestling with Bear. He is so strong, he's so physical, and the hard work and the intensity of which he trains with only shows when he steps foot in the octagon. One of the most skilled guys the UFC has ever seen. We always talk about the wrestling and the grappling and the sambo, right. but don't sleep on Habib Nurmagomedov strike. And we saw shades of that in the McGregor fight. Javier Mendez says at times he likes to go southpaw in training. He can't hold you down. Ah, he can't hold me right. down, but Just it's okay, it sure. it's okay. You can't win them all, Habib. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 154 pounds. Fighting out of Fargo, North Dakota, USA Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the record. This man is a grappler, holding professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib, the Eagle, Nurmagomedov! All right, commit to the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back to your corners, you're not fighting. Anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchange. Single collar tie now. Good punch, Lance. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? A oh, little single collar tie there. Right hand punch from the clinch. 
good body shot. Ooh, big knee. Knee to the body. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the Timing Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Look at him lift his hip into that kick. Right hand punches the clinch. Able to check the high kick. Beautiful leg kick thrown. He changes the angle. Finds the true on the double leg. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. has got full mount now. Just over three minutes to go. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pass to this guy. Ah. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Nermago Meta. Try to manipulate the head here. It's in there deep. There you go. Wow. All right, right into side control here, DC. Biggest difference between half guard and side control. Well, side control to me feels like a little bit less control because now my legs aren't really doing anything anymore. Now I'm controlling you with my upper body. So I've got to be very, very aware. It's still advantageous, but it just seems a little more free-flowing than having something like a half guard. All right, so 43 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Single collar tie here. Big punch lands over the top. I was gonna follow this. Good combination there by Nermago Meta. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. Obviously. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Habib lands early, and he lands off. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Effective strike there by Nurmagomedov. He gets to his spot, the tie point. Then he starts to let the knees fly. Bonnie lands a knee to the body now, DC. Talk to us about that strike. They suck so bad, especially when you're going forward. You walk full speed to a knee to the body. It could in the night. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. Okay, ready? Round two. You ready? All right, here we go with round two. Big ball to punch land. Now we get back to range. Go 
blows to the body there. Nurmago Medov's kick to the body here. That one appeared to be blocked. Oh, nice right hand. You don't understand how tiring this position is. I know the clinch may not look pretty, but it's very, very effective. Already right, closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, nice. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Shot is blocked there by Nermago All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now followed the set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Both fighters here continue. Oh, nice scramble by him there. Take down defense on point. He is a master in transition. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Oh, nice elbow. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook. He's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Oh, roundhouse kick. Oh, how about this kicking game on full display tonight? Kicks back to back, which just truly makes an ugly target. Sight to behold. Big kick lands. The right hook to the body. Oh, nice land there by Nermago Medov. When he made his UFC debut in 2012, he wasn't striking like that. No, he did not look like this. And that's a credit to his coaches, not only at the American Kickboxing Academy, but at Eagles MMA over in Dagestan. Left hand punches the clinch. When you're in the clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Got the single collar tie. And that one certainly found the target. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Oh, nice, nice. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. That punch no good. All right, single collar tie now. And they separate. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Nurmago Medov gets caught with that punch. Oh, a huge block there. All right, so again, we find ourselves here in the clinch where there are obviously no shortage of subtleties and nuances. A lot of motions in here that maybe are lost on the casual fan. Absolutely, and it's gonna be the underhook. But all the things that happen in that position, the person winning and controlling the underhook battle is the one out of head. And they separate. Magomedov gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Oh, collar tie. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Nice straight punch. Thirty seconds to go in the round. Massive needed a body land. Twenty seconds left. Nice sneaky head kick. Nice kick. Ten seconds now to go in the round. Nurmago Medov gets hit with that hook shot there. He's got to be careful to not allow the offense to follow up here. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. 
And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. Someone on his cut. Calm down. We knew it was going to be a bloody fight. We knew this, okay? All right, are you ready? You ready? Third round underway. Oh, that's a nice strike. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Left hand punch with the clinch. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And now the elbow. What? Oh, and he finally gets the takedown now. So what do they say? If try, try again. If, if at first you don't succeed, you try, try again. And this guy is the poster boy for that saying, because he shot many takedown attempts, and he finally has secured them. All right, try to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Nermago Metal. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pat. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. That's a big strike right there. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. you got to slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. Well, you don't want to say Khabib has fallen in love with his striking, but he certainly is boxing more than he did early on in his UFC career. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot. That's income. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Good stick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie, and they separate. And both guys really throwing with authority. And they separate. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Goes upstairs for an elbow. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws his punch. Oh, nice jab. His opponent's got him in the clinch. He needs to break away and get back to his range because he's taking punch. Oh, they can Scrambles to his feet, nicely done. Big kick lands. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Nermago Medov gets stung by that leg kick. Single collar tie now. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. That one's not good. Nice strike. And mixing it up beautifully. Nice knee to the midsection there. Left hook to the head. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Oh, that straight punch was useful, champ. Multiple times, he's using his punch to get to the target. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. 
20 seconds left. Waning seconds here of round number three. What a punch. And that'll do it, 15 minutes in the books. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last one. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, the action continues here and now as our next ready? round gets ready? underway. The previous round was so confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Get those now. now he's got the Muay Thai plug. Well, eventually you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end this fall. They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. A oh, little single collar tie there. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with a the punch there. Accuracy at its best. All right, so another good series of knees by him there, DC. That has been his weapon of choice tonight. Weapon of choice because his opponent has not figured out where the knees are coming. High or low, every time he throws them, they're landing. That knee might have landed there. Oh, nice job to defend the takedown. Just grab it to his feet. Oh, tags him with the left. That left hand has been really effective tonight. Nice punch there. Way to hide that leg kick. Oh, strong uppercut for him there. That'll get his attention. And he continues to work the body here. Let's and get oh, single collar tie here. And they separate. Beautiful kick. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, big head kick land. Oh, lands another punch there. Not a mean guy. He's just doing the smart thing. Oh, he out. has to be attacking that. Oh! Oh, big left. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. And he landed the right hand there. Right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Right hand was having scramble, folks. Back to the feet now. Big kick lands. Oh, he eats a knee there. That does not taste good. Nice little short uppercut there. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Slips that left hand. Good fight here, under two to go. Going to the body there with the right kick. He loaded up there with that high kick. Oh! All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Nice loop and punch. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Oh, can't put any weight on it. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Unbelievable. He's, He's hurt bad. I need you to look to get that house. Oh, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. 60 seconds now to go in the fight. 
All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Nurmagomedov's trying to lock up on a submission now. Oh, wow, oh! Now he falls back into the finishing position. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. Got the single collar tie. Big knee lands to the body. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's gonna stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do, stays this close, you got to really switch it up. With the corner, was able to relay that message to their fighter better in the game up. Look at the turnover in that kick. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, that's a nice straight punch there. Through the punch, got to the target. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, huge block! And they separate. Big leg kick lands. Beautiful strike. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Nurmago Medov gets touched by that kick there. He's looking for that left hand. All right, he gets the takedown here. Now we'll see what he can do with it. Let's see if he can secure top position. After working so hard for that takedown. Well, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and train down big strikes in your point. Lands with the ground and pound. Under three minutes remain in this fifth and final round. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Well, the body work's starting to take its toll. Look at the redness starting to appear on his left side. Useful strike there. The ground and pound on point tonight. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from the style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Nurmago Meta. I mean, how many can he take? Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's gonna start looking to land big shots from the top. Well, he's got his back now. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. A lot of top pressure being applied here. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, 
some big punches raining down here, picking the spots well, and hasn't chosen to engage his opponent on the ground necessarily, posturing up and, and making these shots count. I mean, why would he have so much success doing it in fighting in this exact same manner that's leading him to be ahead in the fight right now? Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. A nice punch there by Nermago Meadow. Oh, collar tie. Right hand punch to the clinch. Oh, overhand lands. That'll leave a mark. Well, they made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. It's messed up really bad. 30 seconds remain in the round. Oh, thunderous leg kick rounds his opponent, trying to stay upright, but man, that changed the complexion of this one. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. So does the drive. Look at how he drive the knee right into the fist. Oh, hurt. Good defense to block the strike coming back. What a fight! All right, let's look back at some of the action. DC, they go the distance tonight, but you got to think he won over the judges with his striking acumen tonight. Yeah, you got to watch one of the best strikers in the entire UFC. He did everything so well, and in my opinion, he should cruise to a very easy decision. Decision is now in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 49-46. The winner by unanimous decision, Assassin. My right, congratulations to him. He is your winner by unanimous decision and certainly a dominant performance here too. Yeah, he did a great job of just dictating and controlling all the engagements of this fight. His opponent never really had an opportunity to lead the dance. He did that from start to finish, and he wins a unanimous decision.